Before I get into the main focus of this video, I do want to give a big shout out to Nicole. Nicole is a strong supporter of the channel and somebody that really looks out for me when it comes to collectibles, you know, and I try to look out for her sometimes in turn. Um, just like I said, you know, really cool individual. And she sent me this Marvel Legends Cosmic Ghost Rider, which I really have been wanting this since it was first announced. And I actually did read uh, a Cosmic Ghost Rider storyline. I very much enjoyed it, the one with Baby Thanos involved in it. Um, so I do have that pop of Cosmic Ghost Rider with Baby Thanos. And I also have the Kota Bikia statue of Cosmic Ghost Rider. So I'm going to put them all together. Um, you know, obviously this is still unboxed right now. I haven't unboxed it because I got to figure out where I'm going to actually place these items together within my collection. And then I do have the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, you know, the kind of classic Ghost Rider as well as a Marvel Legends figure. So I'll put that together along with them. And then I have some other um, Ghost Rider items in my collection. So I'll probably just have a Ghost Rider dedicated shelf. You know, obviously this is Cosmic Ghost Rider. If you know about this character, you know that He's a little bit different from the classic Ghost Rider in, in many ways. In fact, it's a different person. But regardless, you know, I want to put them together nicely in my collection. Um, once I manage to figure that out, I'll probably put up a picture of it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, do be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I just really want to give props to, again, Nicole for being nice enough to send this my way. Very glad to have this in my collection now. By now, I would imagine that you all have seen the contents of the latest Marvel Collector Core box based on the Infinity Saga. Of course, you know, this uh, is available with Amazon. It is a subscription, but you can skip a month or cancel if you're not interested in a particular theme. Um, I decided, you know, of course, to get this box. I was pumped because of the theme, the Infinity Saga. And um, I'm just going to, you know, get out all the contents and very quickly let you know my thoughts about what was contained within this box. Because, again, I know a lot of you have seen it, so not going to spend very much time with this. The box came with this Mjolnir decal, which I will just put on the cover of. Um, I basically have a binder where I keep up with letters and cards and things that are sent to me. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this on there. I think I have some space still on um, the back side of the binder to add this on there. So I'm, I'm cool with this. You know, it's basically a filler item. But as far as filler items go, this is fine. You know, and then, of course, it comes with a pen as well, which I went ahead and placed on my pen board that I'm working on. So it's this Captain Marvel pen there which is cool with me. You know, she's not necessarily one of my favorite characters, but I don't um, look down on the character the way that some people have. Like, some people are really um, not big on that character, but I think she's all right overall. I just hope that um, her sequel movie is a lot better than the first because the first one, people trashed it so much that when I watched it, I was like, this isn't so bad. And then I went back and tried to watch it again, and I was like, this is not so great, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I'm hoping that she'll have a better sequel. Um, my favorite item in this box is actually this t shirt. I think they did a great job with this t shirt here, you know, with the Peter Tingle. I like that it has, you know, some humor to it, and it's just a nice design. And this color blue is really cool as well. And their, their shirts are good quality, you know. So, yeah, the Peter Tingle shirt, this is actually my favorite item. I'm definitely going to wear that. And then, of course, we have the Pops here, which, um, you know, their choice of Pops, I think, did take some people by surprise. So we have Star-Lord here with the Power Stone. And, of course, it is a glow-in-the-dark figure here. And um, I haven't actually seen the back of this box. I'm assuming it's just a wave that's already, yeah, it's actually... um. This goes back, yeah, well, it's based off the original movie, so that is the original figures there, so that does make sense. But yeah, again, glow-in-the-dark figure there. And then, of course, we have this Black Panther in action with the kinetic energy on his suit. You know, it just um, kind of shows that more so than the other pops have in the past. Yeah, so this is glow-in-the-dark as well, of course, and I will make sure I, you know, show the glow on these figures here. And, of course, that's the original Black Panther wave there. So... With these pops, um, I definitely feel like they're not the greatest choices. I mean, I understand them doing Star Lord with the um the Power Stone. It does make sense. Um, I just don't think it was nearly really great for this particular box, though. I feel like that maybe should have been like a con exclusive or something like that. And the Black Panther, even though it does look cool, I kind of feel like it's it's not completely necessary. I don't think that this was a bad box by any means. You know, it's, it's value is definitely there. That's one good thing about the collector core. Usually, you know, you get your value out of it. So that is very much appreciated. I mean, you know, two pops and a t-shirt alone. And then, you know, of course, they're on the filler items as well. Um, to me, yeah, definitely worth the value. And that's why, you know, I decided to go ahead and keep this box once 
once the images finally leaked of what was going to be in it, I was like, I'm cool enough with it, even though I still wish, um, you know, they maybe going somewhere else with it, some more significant moments. But um, I will give this box credit and say I feel that it's better than the last one, um, you know, that focused on Fantastic Four. But even that one, you see, I decided to keep the pops there in my background there. So I, I think they at least have original molds this time. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And this Black Panther actually looks a lot better up close. But yeah, I just don't feel like we really needed another Black Panther pop right now so yeah I, I think there are some other ways they could have gone with it definitely let me know in the comments what you would like to have seen in this box and what you still hope they do based off of you know the mcu thus far you know all the movies we've seen thus far what would you still like to see what do you feel is missing out of those movies the next collector core box is going to focus on black widow um definitely share with me what you would like to see within this box i've already seen some people say they would like to see you know a black widow versus taskmaster movie moment or maybe a variant of red guardian um i just hope it's something awesome maybe there'll be you know a character that we don't even know is in the movie that gets a pop figure within this box um kind of unlikely but we'll see i don't know when it comes to these boxes sometimes they play it a little bit safe but uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna get this box regardless and i'm still looking forward to the movie whenever you know i'm able to see it and speaking of black widow i actually do have here the black widow game reverse pop i did not get the chase i did order this on this particular one with entertainment earth which does give you a chance at the chase i was not lucky enough to get it i'm okay with that because this actually looks way better up close than i expected um the goggles are still a little bit awkward on her you know we'll see how that looks in the actual game i'm kind of looking forward to the avengers game to see how that turns out but uh yeah i'll get this out of the box in a moment we'll take a closer look at it like i said i, I think it looks better up close than um some people may realize so i'm gonna go and sit that up there for now and we'll get to the unboxing in a moment here um i also have based off the avengers game kamala khan i really like this character you know she um took over the role of miss marvel she's a great character to read she's just so down to earth and it feels very grounded in a way it feels very realistic the way that she handles things and she doesn't hide her fear you know as, as far as the reader being able to see you know her fear and everything her emotions are definitely on display um i like her family in, involvement and everything and you know her religious background even having a role to play within her storylines is just all around a very interesting character if you've never read miss marvel i feel like you're kind of missing out you know especially if you are actually a marvel fan definitely worth checking out her storylines and then i do have as well based on the avengers game this one I, I still don't know how i really feel about it but i'm such a big fan of the character that i just went ahead and got him so we have here taskmaster of course um definitely to me does not look as cool as the original taskmaster pop or the um, pops based off the black widow movie but you know we'll take a closer look at it in a moment maybe that'll change my mind some but i'm just not so sure about this pop right now but like i said big fan of the character so i went for it there actually is a upcoming gallery statue of taskmaster which i'm definitely going to pick up i'm um, sticking with marvel here we have the hot topic exclusive rogue you know flying rogue now that i have this one i actually i don't, I don't think i'm going to worry about the common version of rogue which yeah they do have it added on there and i'm waiting on gambit the glow in the dark gambit from entertainment earth um that's the one that i'm going for not going to worry about the con exclusive um gambit from walgreens you know i'm just going to go with that glow in the dark variant of gambit but yeah this flying rogue to me was a must so definitely had to go ahead and pick this one up this one might still be available with hot topic and then the last pop we're going to look at here, this is moving away from Marvel, but this is another one I really like the design of. So this is a fantastic plastic, I believe runner up winner here. Um, yeah, it had to be a runner up here. Trader Grimm. So they, of course, Funko had the fantastic plastic um, contest, you know, the art contest, and then they actually created a couple of those pops. So yeah, this is one of the runner ups. In my opinion, I think it looks way better than the actual winner, you know, just my opinion, but I think this one turned out really well. And like I said, we'll also get a closer look at this one. On the back of the Trader Grimm box, you do see the runner up's name there, Chris Ramo from New Jersey. Um, it does say here, Aloha from the spooky kooky island of spooky key comes Trader Grimm. Are you a skeleton in need of a surfboard or a tourist in need of a tiny zombified head or a haunted tiki mug overflowing with a tropical cocktail? Then swing by Trader Grimm's tiki bar and trading post for all your island needs. Trader Grimm was inspired by my love for spooky things, tiki culture, and of course the entire fantastic plastic roster. 
I wanted to create a fun and lovable character that I could see my twin sons, Evan and Oliver, carrying around as we go hunting for tiki mugs on the weekend. Okay, so I, I really like that. I, I really like that, Um, you know, paragraph that goes along with this figure here. And, you know, just the, the tiki artwork and everything, it does look pretty cool. So let's take a closer look at the actual figure. The actual figure, very colorful. I, I really like the color they went with on the scan here, that sort of um, aquamarine type of color, which is very fitting. You know, it has the horrific details to it, kind of sewed up and everything. You know, definitely very zombified. Yeah, it just looks great all around. Got the shrunken head there as well. Yeah, got a drink in hand, you know, it's tiki cup or tiki mug there, of course. Yeah, just great details all the way around. Also like that the mouth is sculpted with the teeth spread apart there and the tongue hanging out. So yes, it's a great design that led to a great pop in my opinion. Um, I do think the paint job could be a little bit more on point, but it kind of gets away with it just because this is, you know, a zombified character with all these different colors going on. So yeah, it actually kind of gets away with that. But yeah, I, I really do like this figure if you picture you know if you pick this one up definitely let me know about that and um if you're into the fantastic plastic you know let me know what are your favorites i have a good number of them now i really am a fan of the line so i'm going to continue to collect them as long as i like the designs that they are putting out black widow you get a close-up here of those huge goggles i think this the size of the goggles is, you know, they're so massive, it's just ridiculous looking almost. So I'm not a big fan of that. But as far as the outfit here, the way she's geared up and everything, that looks really cool. Um, I like the gold detailing, you know, the trend that it has there, the belt, her gauntlets there. All of that is really well done and the weapon looks cool there as well. So this is a really awesome um, outfit for the character. I just think that the goggles are maybe too oversized. And I know that, you know, pops are disproportionate, but still... Yeah, that does look a little bit rough. Again, paint job could be a little bit better around the face. Um, but I, I think that's something you kind of almost have to accept with Funko with the low price point. You know, you're, you're going to see paint flaws when you look really close. But uh, yeah, again, this, this uniform to me really makes this figure awesome. The outfit here for Kamala Khan, pretty true to the character. Not like strongly far removed from the way that she dresses in the comic already. It just it's more of a polished look for her um you know and it has the gold um going on with it as well so yeah it just to me makes her look more legit as a hero because i mean of course in the comics she basically you know put her own outfit together i like that she still has her trademark scarf back there you know which is um obviously flowing in the breeze there so yeah i, I think this is a good representation of the character and I, I can't stress it enough if you have not checked out her stories make sure you do so hopefully like i already know she's been in animation but um, I would like to see her, you know, actually make her way into the MCU as well. I think that's a strong possibility. I mean, the way that they're pushing this character now and with her being heavily featured in the upcoming video game. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see her in the MCU soon enough or maybe even, um, you know, in one of the Marvel series coming up. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to that. I, I hope they find the right actress to really do this character justice because, like I said, big fan of her. I actually had the original pop of um, Kamala Khan and then I also have the Marvel Legend and I have a Kotobukiya statue as well so yeah I'm definitely a fan of this character Taskmaster here again like I said I I don't know something's just not doing it for me you know with this figure um it could be that I mean the you know they went with gray of the hood and the cape there which you know it makes it look a little bit different because I'm used to seeing him with that very clean white hood which I like I really like the way that tends to stand out on the character so I'm not a big fan of the gray I mean I guess if they're going for a more real world look for the character maybe that's why they did that um the face is actually okay even though it kind of reminds me more of Casey Jones with his um hockey mask than um you know Taskmaster but it, it works for the most part um his body is I don't know, there's something kind of thrown off about this as well. I guess because Taskmaster is usually depicted as sort of a... I mean, sometimes you see him bulked up, but a lot of times he's sort of a slender character. And I don't know, the proportions here feel a little bit awkward to me. He's very um, broad shoulder, you know, as far as pops go. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just something about it that's not quite right to me. It feels more like a Taskmaster cosplayer than Taskmaster, actually. And I mean, all the elements are here. You know, he has his shield, of course. Um, I'm not sure what they were going for there. That actually looks unfinished, the way the shield is done. Um, if anybody else has this figure, let me know if the shield is supposed to look that way. That really does look unfinished. Um, but 
yeah then he has a sword you know so he, he's got some of his trademark elements to him but i don't know all the different pads here and stuff they just they don't really look legit you know like it like i said it just looks like cosplay to me so definitely give me some feedback if you're a fan of taskmaster what do you think about this particular figure rogue is one of those characters i think you just gotta love like i, I just love the personality of the character she was really awesome on the x-men animated series you know from the 90s um so yeah big fan of this character i think they did a great job with their hair sculpt for the most part um there is some bleeding with the white you know i already mentioned you know with the funko paint jobs it's going to be that way sometimes that definitely could look better um it almost makes it look more like white out than paint the way that that's done there but um not a big deal you know still a good looking figure all the way around you can still of course see her headband there and um yeah the, they got the flying poles done really well um sometimes I think they have trouble kind of angling the figures when they try to do a flying pose, but they've gotten way better at that, especially if you compare this to like an older Superman in a flying pose. Yeah, they definitely have improved. So, yeah, I think they did a good job with this figure overall, and it's just almost a relief to finally have Rogue and to have Gambit um, on the way. And really, I think the common Gambit is already out there. Some people may already have that one, but it's a relief because I think X-Men fans, we have wanted these characters for so long you know for so long and there are more on the way of course you know there's there's the rumor of a lot of x-men pops on the way especially based off of the fox movies but i think we'll see more based off of the comics as well so you know keep your fingers crossed that we'll see other characters like nightcrawler on the way in the near future i want to thank all of you for taking the time to check out this video being completely honest with you all it was very tough to find the motivation to even do this video i mean i just want to be real with you all because obviously i think we're all up under you know some stress right now given with you know what's going on in the world but um i have still been collecting you know obviously even beyond what you see here because collecting has really been a way for me to just deal with stress over the past couple of years it's definitely been a, a positive thing added into my life so yeah i still have been collecting and maybe doing a little bit too much online shopping but it has been something to help kind of keep my spirits up so yeah that's why i finally decided to go ahead and do this video so hope you all enjoyed the video i definitely look forward to your feedback about the figures that you saw here let me know what's going on with you in terms of collecting um not just you know the figures that i have here whether you pick these up or not and what you think about them but just in general you know what's going on with you in terms of collecting and just what's going on with you in terms of life you know how you're handling the um, current situation that we're up under hopefully you're keeping your spirits up you're exercising eating right doing all those things that you need to you know to really take care of yourself getting good sleep you know staying hydrated all that good stuff you know i hope you're staying safe and taking good care of yourself but uh yeah thank you all so much for checking out this video um do stick around here just for a moment because there is an opportunity i'm putting out for people that are eligible and make sure you follow exactly what it says on the screen i'm going to be very clear with those directions so if you are eligible for that opportunity then do jump on that but uh yeah again thank you all so much for ta um, taking the time to check this out hope you're staying safe and i'll talk to you all again real soon